What's going on everyone? My name is Cynic and today we're going to be talking about my top strategies or the main strategies I use in order to farm keys inside of Infinite Warfare Zombies. I've been getting asked this a lot lately so I figured I'd go ahead and give you guys an explanation and I guess kind of a guide of how I farm keys inside this game. Now I've tried to cover a little bit of a strategy on every single map with the exception of Attack of the Radioactive Thing because I pretty much play that the same way every single time and I've kind of already covered that in another video. So I'm going to go ahead and provide you guys my strategy for farming keys and every map with the exception of attack of the radioactive thing so with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and start off on zombies in space land now for my strategy all you're really going to need is the sentinel which is of course one of the epic variants of the mauler light machine gun and arcane core and the yellow element and if you want to go a step further then by all means feel free to do the easter egg which the sentinel with the yellow element definitely makes a whole lot easier then of course you're able to double pack a punch and then this weapon is taken to a whole nother level but basically what i like to do here on Spaceland is throw on the Sentinel or aim for the Sentinel, get as many tickets as I possibly can in the first couple rounds of that game, buy an Arcane Core, and then try to work on getting the Yellow Element as quickly as possible. Of course, the Yellow Element is the element inside of Polar Peak, in case you guys didn't know that. So you throw it on, and, and normally the way the elements work on weapons is it'll activate every two to three shots, but because the Sentinel fires five shots at once, it's activated every single time you fire the Sentinel, which in turn makes this gun a one shot packed one time up until about round 45 of course i am considering headshots body shots i think end by round 40 i could be mistaken i don't normally go insanely high rounds all that often as i do get bored very quickly but the sentinel with the yellow element is definitely my go-to whenever i'm grinding for keys on spaceland and the fact that with the right amount of tickets you can either buy a rewind grenade or go into the arcade and just buy extra ammunition for 150 tickets definitely makes this a very easy and simple strategy to grind as many keys out as you want you know and everyone has access to Spaceland, the only thing you'll be really missing out on and have to grind for is obtaining the Sentinel if you don't have that yet. But moving on over to Rave in the Redwoods. Now on Rave, there's basically two methods I do. One is more or less if I'm planning on aiming the game sooner rather than later. The other one is more if I'm planning on hitting higher rounds. But regardless of which method I'm planning on using, the first five rounds are always the same for me. So basically what you want to do is pick up the M1 Grand and any melee weapon, it really doesn't matter. I always pick the Spiked Bat. I just pick it up because it's right there right next to them one grand but what you want to do is sit and spawn until about round three once round three hits what you want to do is buy the door heading towards blue bolts which i believe is called the mess hall it's been a while since i played this map you want to head up to the sign activate it and now you're going to be given this challenge where you need 15 melee kills this is the whole point of the melee weapon because this just makes getting melee kills extremely easy and of course at the end of it you're rewarded with a rewind grenade which always replenishes all of your ammunition which is definitely very helpful for going for higher rounds now that's the part that's always the same the next part is different depending on how high you plan on going like i said if you want to end it sooner rather than later then you're pretty much set the next thing you kind of want to do is build the boat so that way you can head over to turtle island because that's where i like to train but if you plan on going extremely high then i recommend you going ahead and picking up a crossbow ideally the whirlwind which is the deer statue or the acid rain which is the owl statue i'm gonna go ahead and trust that you guys know how to upgrade those since this map has been out since february <laughs> but that's pretty much it you're now set just head over to turtle island just train around a certain area of course every now and then the last zombie do glitch out so you're gonna have to take the zip line head over back over to the docks wait for the last zombie to show up kill it the round will then change and then you can head back over to turtle island if you ever happen to run out of ammo or your ammo's running low then you just hit that rewind grenade and all of your ammunition will also be replenished i feel like this is an extremely easy map like this is super simple if you guys want to change it up a little bit more you can go ahead and pick up the transponder grenade throw it on the hillsides of where pack a punch is and you can pretty much just glitch outside the map if you wanted to as well but i think this one is most likely the easiest simple straightforward way to grind keys the acid rain and the whirlwind pretty much do all the heavy work and you can just fly through the rounds very easily also fun fact in case your bounty ever has to do with explosive kills the acid rain is for some reason considered explosive kills so that helps out a ton but anyways moving on to shallon shuffle this one you're at a little bit of a disadvantage of if you have not done the easter egg matter of fact it doesn't really work if you haven't done the easter egg it still does because it's kind of a camping spot for me but i mainly use it for getting katana kills now you don't really need to do anything else besides like i said doing the easter egg i do recommend a coupon clipper fortune card if you do have one if not then it's cool you're just gonna have to grind out that 10,000 in order to buy the katana off the wall but basically what i do is i sit inside spawn until i feel like i have 
somewhat enough points to buy up the majority of the map i'll go ahead and leave spawn pop my coupon clipper buy the katana off the wall and then from there i'll just go ahead and start flipping on all the switches necessary to open up the entire map and of course picking up pieces for the pack a punch machine as i go by you really don't even have to open a pack a punch machine all you really need is the pink flyer and the token that is found underneath the tough enough that's pretty much half of the strategy already you just getting katana and unlocking the map opening pack a punch the rest of it pretty much is you just sitting inside the pink cat lounge getting as many collateral kills as you possibly can if the zombies rush in and they become a little too heavy for you to get them at once then don't panic just fall back into the pack a punch room don't go into the portal just sit inside this room let all zombies run into the door just swing your katana and you'll get all those easy collateral kills nothing spawns behind you you'll be perfectly fine the only thing about this though is occasionally once in a great while for some odd reason a ninja zombie will spawn behind you but if he just keeps hitting you and you can't exactly kill him just run inside the portal of the pack punch machine you'll be perfectly fine but anyways there you guys have it those are my top strategies on every single map again with the exception of attack of the radioactive things i've already kind of covered that shaolin shuffle is hands down the map i grind for keys the most and that is the strategy i used let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Did you guys find this helpful at all? Oh, speaking of which, back on the Shaolin Shuffle guide. You really don't need any perks besides Tough Enough and Up and Atoms if you want to get back up. That's really all I ever use. I don't spend too much time. I just burn through the rounds. It's inside that room, and that's the entire strategy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for your time. Again, my name is Cynic. Don't forget to subscribe for daily content as well as don't forget to turn on those notifications if you guys want to be part of the notification squad the channel's been growing very quickly very fast thank you guys so much for everything i really do appreciate it but until next time guys i'll see you all tomorrow with a brand new video